I'm Molly Cronin, and I'm a cartoonist and illustrator. I usually live in Halifax, but I'm currently staying in Elmsdale, Nova Scotia with my parents and sisters. This is my desk where I do my illustration, but it is also my bedroom, and it is also my father's office, and my mother's office, and the TV room. So this is my view, this is my desk, and here's what I look out at, the little patio, sometimes my dad is out there reading, oh, there's Luna, my sister's cat, there's my sister who's well hanging out in the hammock because it's finally a nice day. There's every book you could ever want to read, there's even a little fake rat art piece over there by Janice Wright Cheney. Lots of art, lots of books, lots of records, lots of things that look like art, but actually have whiskey inside of them. See, I told you sometimes he goes out and reads. He told me he was reading Marxist Aesthetic Theory, so you can tell he's a real fun guy. All right, I'm just gonna take my pencil, some paper, and I'm gonna show you how I make a cartoon. So my cartoons usually star me as the main character, uh, and they usually look like this, my little polka dotty outfit. And I start with these kind of sketches. Sometimes I just write the text, and then that turns into something like this. So last month I started making cartoons as a way to kind of process what I was feeling around COVID-19. So I was making cartoons about how scary it was to go to the grocery store and how weird it feels to write an email and how everybody seems to make one a lot of fat jokes at the moment and how that's bad. <laughs> I've actually been turning to cartoons a lot to process what I'm feeling around COVID-19. Uh, cartoons, I find for me, are a really effective tool in this way because they force you to compress complicated ideas into really simple formats. You have to break them down. So I find it helps me kind of hone my focus and figure out exactly what it is that's upsetting me or worrying me or uh, something I want to critique, etc. So it's been great for me to have making cartoons as an outlet to process what I'm feeling and it means so much that other people are relating to it and connecting with it. So as long as uh, the world is scary and we need to laugh about it sometimes, I'll be here making cartoons. <laughs>